Hi, and I'm Dave Owen, your garden guy. Hey, guys, welcome to our garden up in the mountain area of Payson, Arizona. In fact, I want to show you around a little bit. These are all our different types of apple trees. These are Ben Davis apples. Fairly rare out here in the desert southwest. And, well, they've been here for almost 100 years. This is an old homestead at one time. So, well, I decided we're a better place to garden than here during the summertime. Nice and cool, about 5,700 feet for the elevation. I've got free water out of the river and, of course, lots of raised beds. Let's show you kind of what's going on in these raised beds right here. Let's take this one, for instance. This is kind of a potpourri of different types of, well, vegetables and some flowers all at the same time. We got a little bit of frost damage on our peppers here, so we're going to have to cut these guys back. But we got some peppers in here, some flower right here. This attracts a lot of those beneficial insects that are so important out here in the desert southwest. And at the same time, I'm letting a lot of my different types of flowers or vegetables starting to bolt. In fact, you can take a look at these little flowers right here off the arugula. And what happens with these guys, it attracts a lot of beneficial insects. These insects are what help protect this garden along with all this biodiversity growing in this garden at the same time. There's some French sorrel growing in here. You can see it right back here. Excellent in soups and stews and it is an easy plant to grow out here, especially in those lower elevations. You need lots of compost in these raised beds. In fact, this raised bed not only has got a lot of compost, a lot of lava sand, some humates, and a lot of other types of, well, special ingredients that we'll talk about later on that really make a real nice, what we call, hardy type garden, especially when you're going organic. You'll find when you do go organic, you use less water, you have less insect problems, and a lot a lot less stress overall in the garden. There's some asparagus growing in here right now. I planted this last year. It's one of the longest lived vegetables you can grow out here. You don't want to prune any of this foliage off for about two to three years before you start harvesting those small spears. We've got some spears growing in here. And also we've got a lot of onions. Now these onions not only are great in a lot of different types of salads and stews, but at the same time, they help protect the garden from different types of insects. So they work well as a companion plant. There's some bright light Swiss chard right over here. You can see that. And it again, does a very nice job of really staying with the garden or staying and growing from year to year. So when you're growing gardens out here, remember you wanna go ahead and use raised beds. Make sure you put a lot of compost, lava, sand, and humates all built into it. Stay as little biodiverse as possible and make sure you've got about 50% flowers along with 50% vegetables and it goes a long ways towards creating that, well, that great organic garden out here in the desert southwest. <laughs>